What's up, King fam? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday so far. Welcome back Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Either way, hope you guys are having a good day. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. It is a pleasure to have you guys here. So when Omar Jose Cardona first started on The Voice, I said that I would be following this journey as he progressed to each round. Well, I did the blind reaction and that's it so far. I have totally dropped the ball on this. So I figured that today would be a good time to play catch up to the mustard. Horrible dad joke, I know, but just roll with me here, okay? Um, so we're going to go down the list of everything that Omar has done since uh, since the Journey song at the blind audition. So we're going to go through the battles, the knockouts, top 16, top 13 now that he's made it to the top 10. Uh, so let's go through all of these. I'm going to try to breeze through and not pause as much, um, but it is a reaction video, so understand there's going to be pausing, uh, but stay with me for the whole ride. That way you guys can get a, a full reaction and a full scope of all of the performances and my thoughts. So before we get started, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. Make sure notifications are turned on. Check out the description box. You'll see a lot of different links to uh, to click to follow us and to show support to the channel. Uh, Instagram, TikTok. Twitter and uh, join the discussion on our Discord. And as always, drop suggestions or requests for future reactions down in the comment section. Get your Christmas reaction request in. It is that time of year. So please drop those in the comment section also. Let's go. Omar Jose Cardona versus Lana Love into the unknown battles. Yeah. Team Legend. They didn't waste any time for that. Wow, matching each other, singing. That's, that's called unison, right? When they're singing the same thing. Yeah. There's a thousand reasons I should go about my day and ignore your whispers, which I wish would go away. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah, my boy be singing, yo. Okay, so for right now, I'm, maybe I'm a little biased, maybe because it's, I, I know that Omar won this, but I'm trying to be totally unbiased here. He sounds better to me than she does. Um, she sounds like she's playing a little bit more of a character role than what he's doing. He's almost just singing it straight up, um, and, I, and, and I think for this, uh, singing it like soundtrack instead of musical theater uh, probably sounds, it probably bodes better in your favor. Golly! Wow. They sound good together, though. Man, they held that out together forever, together, forever. They held that out together, yo. Together, forever. Shout out to Rick Astley. Wow. That was great. 
Yeah, they killed that. That was good. Yeah, they did. That was good. That felt good, didn't it? Yeah. That was good. I speak for everybody here when I say, what the hell? Yes, sir. How is there enough time on this show to even rehearse? That would be like after like an eight-month run on Broadway. Lana, you're incredible. Thank you. You stepped into character when you got on stage. and you She did. She sounded... I don't know how I turned closed captions on. But she definitely sounded like uh, like character. She went straight into character work. You became Elsa. that moment, you know? You became yeah. Elsa. It was really incredible. You did. Thank you so much. Okay. Omar, that was unbelievable. You're, you're one of the best singers I've ever heard. Wow. Wow. What a compliment to come from Blake Shelton. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. you can't go wrong here. I, I would probably choose Omar. Thank you. That was probably my top two favorite moments of this season. That's awesome. I just feel That's so awesome. inspired after that. It just felt so pro. When you locked into totally. the verse in character, I was just like... Yeah, she was totally in character there, man. And I'm glad I'm not the only one that felt that way. I felt like she was straight going... Straight musical theater with this whole thing. Whoa, like star power. Omar, I mean, bro, you're an entertainer. Like, you just remind me of Freddie Mercury and at the ease with which, like, Bruno yeah. and Anderson perform. Like, you were yeah. born to do this. Yeah. I feel like I was, like, shot up in a rocket and then went around the moon. And then I'm like, wait, can we just, like, rewind? Why aren't you just, like, on Broadway singing every single night? And it was such a great pairing, you know? It's sad because it's like somebody has to go home and yeah. you guys should just keep doing what you do, which is sing songs and use the gift that God gave you. Thank hey, you man, so come on, Gwen. What you got to say about that? John, you got the final decision. Give us some thoughts first on the battle. This is going to be a tough decision because they both killed it. But, I mean, you can't blame him for going with Omar at the end. Omar's just got a different level of star quality. His voice is just – he's got a different timbre. It's just it's just, just something about Omar. Well, something about Omar. Like you, you can't put a label on it. It's just something's there. Wow. I mean, Lana, I just love your passion, your the way you, you move your body when you sing. And everyone's right. Like you should be on Broadway right now. Like you have the voice for it. Totally. Omar, I mean It was at this point she knew that she was being sent to Broadway. I've never heard anyone <laughs> sing like you, dude. You're not just singing, you're like giving the physical There's performance. You're something else like, there getting into it i like the way you just even tossed the mic to yourself you just felt confident and control just know that both of you it was phenomenal to watch and just inspiring for us honestly wow. all right john the time has come the most laid back whoa um who is the winner of this battle yeah the, the winner one. of this battle the one the only omar cardona Yep, of course they leave it hanging. But we all know that Omar won. Mr. Omar Jose Cardona. So let's continue this uh, Let's continue this forward to season 22 knockouts. This is Mr. Omar Cardona singing radioactive, radioactive. Let's go. Ah, that was nice. I like that. I'm breaking in, shaping up, then checking out on this prison bus. This is it, the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm waking up. Hey. 
See, at first I was sitting here thinking that his voice is too big for something like this, but when he got to the chorus, totally understood. And it gives him a chance to show a different side of him, like a different flavor, because he had like a little bit of, you know, boss to him there with the dancing. So this, a song like this allows him to kind of just be free with the body language and just kind of play around with it a little bit, give a full performance. Um, his voice is honestly too big for the song, but I, I get why he chose it or why it was chosen. Okay. Deep in my bones, Connecting with the audience. From deep in my wow. Bones, straight from inside. Golly! Wow. See, he had a chance. He's just going nuts now. Energy through the roof. Golly, golly, dude went nuts. Now, I totally understand why that song was chosen there. Gives him a chance to just perform and uh, have that moment of a kind of an intimate connection there where it's really soft for a moment. And then my boy went sky high with it. Golly. All right, let's go. So Omar psh, made it through the battles, made it through psh, the knockouts. So he made it through the battles, made it through the knockouts. Top 16 performance, Mr. Omar Jose Cardona performing Bon Jovi's all-time classic song, Living on a Prayer. Uh, we've done two videos. There's two more to go. We're halfway there. Oh, spinning the micro. Dude. Stuff like that, spinning the microphone and tossing it the way he does, shows a different level of confidence in his ability. Those little things right there, I think count on shows like this. Just a level of confidence, baby. Let's go. Come on, Omar. I like the singing behind the beat a little bit too. I like that it, it, it gives a different dynamic. Sometimes I don't like that because sometimes I don't feel like it works. What Omar's doing here, it works. See, this is the problem that a lot, you know, soapbox time, small soapbox, small soapbox. People forget about that part. Like, we've got each other. Like, it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other. People forget about that in relationships these days. They think we got to get to a certain level. If it doesn't work out for us, then we just go our separate ways. Keep holding on to each other. That's all that matters. I would rather have a woman that stays with me. If, if everything falls apart and I know that this woman is ride or die for me, that if I end up under a bridge, she's going to be right there with me. I'd rather have that than someone who only wants to pop bottles in a mansion with me. You get what I'm saying? Like if the only reason you're with me is so you can be in that moment, 
then you're there for the things that I can provide and I can give for you. But if you're willing to be under a bridge with me, if all of that goes away and all of it falls apart and I'm under a bridge in the freezing cold, but you're there with me sticking it out then, that's what I want. And that right there means it doesn't matter if we make it or not. We got each other. People have lost that in, in, in our society, in our world today. Just a soapbox there. Loyalty. Come on, Omar. Okay, okay, we're going to the last course where there's a bit of a key change and they're breaking a lot of the stuff down. One thing I'll say about Omar's microphone, I wish there was a little bit more reverb that was added to his vocal because it sounds like like a talk, like he's singing a talking mic with very little reverb or echo effect on it. I wish there was a little bit more of that added to the to the microphone. Golly, my guys, my guys, uh, my guys, high range is ridiculous. Man it up. God, mighty knows, dude. All right, so top 16 is done. We are more than halfway there at this point. Now, this, uh, this performance took place this week, a couple of nights ago. Omar, Jose Cardona is singing uh, Martin Garrix and BB Rex's In the Name of Love. I do not know the song. Uh, this right here, Top 13 Voice 2022, happened this week. Um, so, like I said, I I don't know the song. So, this is going to be uh, just a complete, tr a complete treat for me. So, what did Mr. Cardona do to earn his spot to the top 10? Let's find out. If I told you this was only going to hurt. If I warned you that the fire's gonna burn, would you walk in? Yeah. Would you let me do it first? Do it all in the name of love. Wow. Would you let me lead you even when you're blind? In the darkness, in the middle of the night, in the silence, when there's no one by your side, would you call in the name of love? In the name of love. Wow. Okay. So now, okay. After all of these weeks and these performances that have been kind of upbeat and everything, this is perfect. Come back on a big night like this and hit them with a, hit them with a recent ballad. Perfect. And especially a big one like that, very stripped down. And I hear the echo and the re the reverb and the vocal now on the microphone. That's what I really wish he had on living on a prayer. Glad it's here for this. It adds just an extra dynamic to the voice. Uh, yeah, this is a great performance so far. He is going to snap off in just a minute. It's going to be name of love. He's going to go crazy. And I've never heard this song before. What is going on with my computer? Oh, 
Oh. Oh. How he did that little slide down there. Oh. He's about to go wild right here. The build up. Oh my gosh. Get him on their feet, Omar. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gave me chills. Oh, he's doing the whole lift him up high just to drop him off a cliff at the very end. Oh. Bring it back down. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. He did the whole lift him up high just to drop him off and leave him just kind of feeling defeated at the end. Golly. Omar Jose Cardona is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. A beast. Golly. The first time I heard the first time I heard Omar was, I believe, I believe it was with voice play doing superstition. Uh, and I was instantly like, wow, this guy is really good. Why can't why can't he just join voice play right now? Like, he was amazing. Then when he jumped in, carry on my wayward son with voice play. I was like, oh my wow, this dude is amazing. Please join voice play right now. <laughs> um, but I see that, you know, sometimes God has a different path chosen for us. Um, and Mr. Cardona is slaying the voice right now. Uh, we've known about him for a long time. Um, but I'm so glad that the world is getting to see uh, this man's uh, vocal ability, his passion for music, um, his incredible stage performance. Now, this is something that's new to me because I've only seen him like on the music videos with like voice play before. So his stage presence and his stage performance is is new to me and it's amazing. It's top notch how he just gets so involved in the performance and the music just hits him in the heart. You can see it all over his body language, his, his face. He's really good with, uh, with emoting and getting that out in his, in his body language, his facial expressions. You can hear it in the voice with a song he really connects with. You can hear, you can really hear that Omar really connects to the music. It's coming from deep down inside. It's coming from a soulful, meaningful place somewhere deep inside his spirit. And I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Vocals for days, passion, um, hard work, work ethic, stellar, like second to none. You put all that together. You have a champion. You have a top 10 contender for the voice 2022 in Mr. Omar Jose Cardona. And now that I am caught up, I will now be doing reactions to top 10 performances till we get to the finale. I'll be doing them the second that they get up on, on the voice YouTube or some, someone posted on YouTube. I'm going to refrain from watching it on the television. That way I can actually record it here, but I hope you guys um, enjoyed this and I hope you guys are watching this and watch it all the way through. So uh, if you enjoyed the reactions, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Please make sure notifications are turned on. Check out the description box. A lot of different links to click on to show love and support to the channel. You can follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and join the discussion over on our Discord. As always, drop suggestions, requests, drop your comments, what you thought of these performances down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. What was your favorite performance out of all of these? What are some highlights that stood out to you? Also, get your Christmas reaction requests in. Put them down in the comments section. It is that time of year. Knocking out Christmas reaction requests left and right. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. With all that being said, see you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.